Greetings to you and welcome to today's lesson. If this is your first time on this channel, this is Wafu TV, and here we facilitate the understanding of elementary mathematics. We assist adults and teachers to understand basic mathematics concepts so that they can assist young learners. Last time we looked at square roots and square numbers. And in this topic, we identified two ways by which we can calculate the square root of given numbers. That is the prime factor method and the division methods. Today, we have something new. And of course, as it's written on the board, we shall be discussing cube root. And the objectives of our lesson is first to identify cube numbers, then to be able to calculate the cube root by means of factorization. Take note that, as I've mentioned before, any lesson that we do now is very important because in our subsequent lessons, you may find this as aspect of bigger topic or we will need this basic knowledge to be able to solve other problems in other topics. Without waste of time, we are going to first of all identify what a cube root is, what a cube number is, then we will go into examples for better understanding stay tuned and don't go away if you look at this it reads a cube root is a number when multiplied by itself twice gives a larger number for example two times two times two or two to the power three or we can also read it as two cube so a cube root is simply a smaller number multiplied by itself two times which gives a bigger number and what is this bigger number that is what we want to look at as well from what we have here a cube is the product of a smaller number and that smaller number we have just looked at is called cube root multiplied by itself two times for example two times two times two will give eight and so this eight that we have here is what we call a cube and this can equally be written as 2 to the power 3 or 2 cube which is equal to 8. With this understanding we are going to proceed by looking at the sign for cube root. The sign for cube root is what you have here on the board. Last time we saw a sign which was similar to this but where we have this small 3 written was 2 or nothing. But for cube root, you have a small 3 written. Take note of this. With this in mind, we are going to move forward by looking at some practical examples on how we can calculate the cube root of given numbers. But before we go into that, take note that all numbers are cube roots. It means you can multiply any given number by itself two times. But not all numbers are cube numbers. We are going to calculate or find the cube root of given numbers by factorization. The first example we have on the board is find the cube root of 512. By factorization, what do we do? The first thing is to come out with our table and use prime factors. Here is 512 and this number is an even number. It ends with 2. Therefore, we can start with the least prime number, which is 2. So we write our 2 out this way. 512 divided by 2. You can go gradually so that you don't make mistakes. 5 divided by 2 is 2. Remember 1. 11 divided by 2 is 5. Remember 1. 12 divided by 2 is 6. 2 is the next. 2 divided by 2, 1. 5 divided by 2, 2. Remember 1. 16 divided by 2 is 8. You can still bring down 2. 12 divided by 2, 6. And 8 divided by 2, 4. You bring down 2. 6 divided by 2, 3. And 4 divided by 2, 2. You continue with 2. 3 divided by 2, 1. Remember 1. 12 divided by 2, 6. You can still bring down 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. You bring down 2. 8 divided by 2, 4. You bring down 2. 4 divided by 2, 2. 2 can still divide, and 2 divided by 2, 1. At this point in time, we can end here. 
But what do we do after we reach this level? Look at this because there is a slight difference with our previous lesson. If you don't pay attention, you may mix things up and have your answer wrong. So when you reach this point in time, what you do is you group the prime factors in threes. You group the prime factors in threes. That is, you take three, you take three, and you take three. From each group, you take one number. From each group, you take one. That is two from here, two from here, two from here. And our cube root will be two times two times two, which is equal to two times two, four, four times two, eight. This means that eight times eight times eight is going to give us 512. If you want to prove your answer, you can do that on your own to see if it is correct or not. This is what you are supposed to do if you are asked to calculate the cube root of 512. Let's look at the second example. Here is our second example and it says find the cube root of 1000. We are going to use the same method as here to calculate the cube root of 1000. This is an even number, so we can start with the smallest prime number, which is 2. 2 divides 1500 times. This is still an even number, so we can use 2. 2 divides 500, 250 times. We can still use 2. 2 divides 250, 125 times. At this point, we have an odd number, and this odd number means either 3 or the next prime number, which is 5, can divide. But to test if 3 can divide, we add all the numbers if it gives, if the sum of this digit will give a multiple of 3. 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 5 is 8. 8 is not a multiple of 3. Therefore, 3 cannot divide this number. And if 3 cannot, we go to the next prime number, which is 5. So we're going to take 5 here. 5 will divide 125, 12 divided by 5, 2, remainder 2, and 25 divided by 5, 5, 25 times. Next is 5. If it ends with 5, it means 5 can divide. 25 divided by 5, 5. And the next is 5. 5 divided by 5, 1. And once we arrive at this one, we can stop there and group this into 3. We take 1 from each group, 2 from here, 5 from here. Therefore, our cube root is going to be 2 times 5, which is equal to 10. To prove or to be sure that our answer is correct, we multiply 10 by itself twice. That is 10 times 10 times 10. If the answer is 1000, then our answer here is correct. With this, we've come to the end of our lesson today and we encourage you to join us in our next lesson we are going to be talking about number expressions. Do not miss this because this is an opportunity to lay a foundation for the better understanding of mathematics. See you next time. Ciao.